Hey guys, I got quite a few little amps here, so I thought I'd give a quick rundown um, of the differences in the sound quality and kind of give my opinion on them afterwards. So I'll be playing music a little bit on each one, and then afterwards um, I'll actually disassemble them so you'll get to see what the amp boards look like, and hopefully you'll find it useful. The first amp up is going to be the Kenter K11. I'm sorry, 3118, which has the Texas Instruments TPA 3118 chip in it. Um, to match the volume between each amp, I'm using a one kilohertz test tone and I'm going to um, adjust all of them to a one volt output. That seems to be a pretty decent volume where the music played won't be distorted or anything. Um, so here's the test at the right channel speaker. You can see the meter is at about one volt. Um, just for comparison's sake, um, I'll go to the left channel speaker and give you the reading on that as well because there's a little bit of channel imbalance on this amp. Here's the one kilohertz test tone on the left channel speaker. And you can see it's not quite one volt output on that channel, just a little bit different on it, it's to be expected. I mean, not every amplifier is dead on perfect, not even higher end ones. There's a little bit of an imbalance. Just one more word before we start with the music. The little bit of humming that you hear coming from the speakers isn't the amplifier, it's just the phone. Uh, it could be an interaction between the amplifier and the phone, but once the music starts playing, um, the humming actually goes away. It's probably just a muting circuit that's in the phone that reacts to the amplifier in such a way. While you and me repeat This bit of sweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire
Okay, one thing that I'm gonna show before I do the wrap up um, by just kind of showing the insides of each of these amplifiers 
is the Breeze Audio um, amplifier. When you first connect it, even though the amplifier is completely turned off, there is a row of capacitors inside this that charge up. So it's gonna be, you know, it's a little disconcerting where you plug in your power supply, in this case from a laptop, 19, 19 volts, um, and it sparks. So I thought I'd show that. And it happens each time. Um, if it's been sitting for a little while and the capacitors have discharged. Um, just a little something to watch out for. It's, the, the, the other ones don't do it. Um, the other thing that I'll mention also, the Insignia receiver here, um, that had by far the best channel balance between left and right. When I was testing it on the meter, um, it was almost exactly the same on the left and right channel. Um, so that's something maybe to keep in mind as well. The other amplifiers, they're okay. Um, one of them sounded maybe like one of the speakers was a little louder than the other, but it's, it's really tough to tell um, in the real world when you're using it. But there is imbalance when you're testing it with the multimeter.